Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I have found the coolest vintage thing ever. And I know I say this in every video, but I just keep topping myself. I don't know how I do it. So this is a Victorian diary. This was written on October 10th today, 1895. So it was in the 1800s, which is crazy to me. I know this is like the oldest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, but it was written by a very, very rich woman. Um, who traveled all over Paris and she talks about meeting the Duchess of Dino. Um, she talks about um, Marie Antoinette, you know, which we all love or love to hate. She talks about her experiences across France on the boat. It's like pretty interesting. She has a pretty interesting life for the 1800s. So um, let's go ahead and dive into her life. So here is where you can clearly see her name. It says Marion M. Jones, but that's the first page and you can see a lot of water damage as well. I don't know if the water damage is from the trip that she went on since she was on a boat or if it was from being collected years later, but I found that pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and open up. October 10th, 1895. Steamer Romania, Rome, 92. Margaret and I sailed from New Jersey on a bright, clear morning. By the time Zach came to bid us goodbye, we had almost all the things in our cabin arranged. It was quite exciting sailing away and rather teary, the people all around us weeping. Zach kept calling to us, why don't you go? And we saw Louise giving off fish as soon as he had family stalled. As soon as our steamer chairs were in place, we got our rugs and rolled ourselves up in them and rather enjoyed the sail out of the bay. By lunchtime, we feel quite at home and enjoyed the meal pretty well. And our table companions, we afterwards found out, were the Duchess of Dino, Senator and Miss Walcott from Kulo, and Miss Sim and her little daughter. We spent the afternoon as we had the morning. Dinner served quite a ceremonious affair, the courses being chained to the tap of a bell and loud playing. I couldn't say much for the German cooking. It was rather greasy and indigestible. We reclaimed on deck some time, but at last went below where I renowned with the exception of a short trip on deck. Saturday and another Monday until the following Thursday. Monday night was very rough, and all Tuesday we tossed and tumbled. I had a good chance to talk German with the steward and understand him pretty well. Thursday, I feel pretty good and got on deck soon after Louise was sighted. By three, we were inside of Sherberg. Kate came, but on the lighter to meet us and looked very well. He took us to her hotel in Sherberg for dinner. It seemed a rambling old house, but the dinner was not so very good. We got a last glimpse of the Duchess here, her with her pet Perel having come to meet her. The Duke confided to the Walcotts his detestation of the heart. By seven, we started for Paris in a compartment by ourselves and enjoyed it very much. We noticed at Sherberg that they had pillows to rent, but didn't think of getting them. At the next stop, they brought me foot warmers, which as the night went on, proved most acceptable. They changed theirs two or three times during the trip. At Mott's, we bought a sandwich and two cakes and wanted more. At two, we reached Paris and Kate's Madame Fayeye not meeting us. We drove the two Mons and got a room for the remainder of the night. The room looked gloomy enough and the electric light did not warm us much. We were awakened by people in the next room and after walking about to the cafe for chocolate and rolls, we paid the bill and drove to the Lafond. We got a room in Sud Guillaume for 11 francs a day and then went to get our trunks. We passed some very inviting looking stones on the Rue Lafayette, especially where they sold the Bay Roses. The afternoon being fine, we took a drive to Le Bois Baroque. The carriage wasn't too bad, but the driver was a ragged looking old man. We drove for nearly two hours seeing how the Parisians enjoy their park. Little boy in blue and red sweater, all under the call of a teacher, were playing innocent-looking games like tag. Girls were rolling hoops. We saw ever so many family groups. Sisters big and little dressed exactly alike. Cascade and racing crews returning after being cheated by the driver, we walked to the Chocadero and the cemetery where Marie Bashkersef is buried. Sunday was another lovely day. We slept late, but managed to get to the 11 o'clock service at the American church. Mr. Morgan preached. In the afternoon, we went to Jardin des Plans, passing by the way the museum of the Old Devon. Blocks and blocks of warehouses for views with little offices for the sale of the wines, I suppose. The Jardin was fine with collection of plants. We were uninterested in the animals. 
I never remembered to have seen either a zebra or a llama before. Tuesday morning, we mounted our bus and went to Notre Dame. Had a splendid view of the cathedral walking all around and seeing the flying buttresses around the quaint. Visited Lutreso and admired the embroidery, especially some given by Marie Antoinette. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little insight of a Victorian woman's life. Um, I only read a couple, about well, a couple entries, um, just because it took me like a whole day to decode just that, because her handwriting was not only spelled incorrectly, not only changing languages. <laughs> But also, it was just very, very scribbly, and it was really hard to really make out the words. But I think I did pretty good. I, I think that I decoded every single word pretty spot on. Um, it wasn't that hard, but it was pretty hard. <laughs> um, but if you guys want me to read more of this diary, just let me know. There's a lot more entries all the way through November 8th. So, if you guys are interested, let me know. Otherwise, just enjoy this video. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you get more vintage content like this. And make sure you turn on the notification bell so that way you know when I post. And I'll see you guys in my next video.